Hi, my name is Selçuk Yıldırım. In this presentation, I'm going to present you the results of the STSM, which was supported by the cost action FP1405 Active and Intelligent Packaging Innovation and Market Introduction. I went from the Zurich University of Applied Sciences in Switzerland to Ege University, Izmir, Turkey, to evaluate the potential of electrospinning as a technology to produce food contact materials for palladium-based oxygen scavenger system. Before I start to present the work I did during my STSM, I want to give you a short introduction about active packaging as well as the palladium-based oxygen scavenger system. While active packaging can be designed as a packaging system that is exactly to designed to deliberately incorporate components that would release or absorb substances into or from the packed food or the environment surrounding the, the food. The, the main active packaging systems are the systems that are releasing some, uh, some stuff like antimicrobial agents, CO2, antioxidants, flavors, ethylene and so on or the systems that are scavenging substances from the environment or from the food, like oxygen, CO2, moisture, ethylene, and other. Among the active packaging systems, oxygen scavengers are especially important because several food products are sensitive to oxygen. Oxygen results in the oxidation of the product on one side, and on the other side, it enables the growth of aerobic microorganisms in the food, and in both cases, it reduces the quality of the product. And because of that, several industries are packing their products with modified atmosphere packaging or using gas flashing technologies to reduce the residual oxygen in the headspace. However, it is not always possible to remove all the oxygen in the headspace with using these technologies. And there is still a few percent of oxygen that's remaining in the headspace. And our goal was to to remove this residual oxygen in the headspace using the palladium-based oxygen scavenger systems. Palladium catalyzes the oxidation of hydrogen into water. So the idea is if you have a food that is sensitive to oxygen, we generally apply modified atmosphere with nitrogen, for example. However, as I mentioned before, there are some oxygen that is left in the, in the headspace and the idea was to introduce some hydrogen as a part of the modified atmosphere and to introduce the active label at the inside of the package so that this reaction can happen at the palladium surface and at the end we have an oxygen-free environment. So we developed these active label systems but we wanted to cover the surface of this palladium-based oxygen scavenger with a food contact material to prevent any migration of the palladium into the food or even to prevent any contact of the palladium with the food systems. And such food contact materials should be highly permeable to gas, especially to oxygen and hydrogen, so that the reaction can start or can happen. And it should be food approved as well, because it comes directly in contact with the food. And it should prevent any direct contact of palladium with the food and better actually should prevent any migration of palladium into the food. And nanofibers used, uh, produced by the electrospinning technologies have potential to be used as food contact uh, materials. Such nanofibers can be used as a food contact material if they, if they are food approved. Such materials have pore sizes below 100 nanometer and the transport properties of these materials or for liquid Moisture and gases can be tailored individually by selecting the processing parameters and appropriate materials. And for that reasons, we have coated the packaging materials with palladium at Zurich University of Applied Sciences. And during the STSM visit, I used the electrospinning technology at the host institution, Ege University, to cover the palladium surface with electrospun nanofibers as food contact materials. So initially the PET SIOX films were coated using magnetron spattering technology and the silk fibroin and collagen were directly deposited on the PET palladium composite in a continuous process using electrospinning technique. Silk fibroin was sold in formic acid to a final concentration of 80 mg per milliliter and collagen electrospinning solutions were prepared with 6.3% freeze dried collagen dissolved in 50% acetic acid. Solutions were allowed to cool on the bench until room temperature was reached before electrospinning. 
The prepared electrospinning solutions were loaded into a 10 ml syringe with a blunt end nozzle controlled by a syringe pump. The solution was pushed through a capillary blunt steel needle at a constant speed of 0.2 ml per hour. The spinning process were kept at constant with a distance of 10 cm between the tailor cone and the collector at room temperature. The voltage was set at 25 kV for silfibroin and 18.7 kV for collagen. Fibers were collected on an aluminium plate for 15 or 30 minutes for silfibroin and 15 minutes for collagen. Fibers were stored at room temperature under vacuum until oxygen scavenging rates were analyzed. So we analyzed the oxygen scavenging rates of the labels without any coating on top of that. And so the palladium coated labels, as you can see here, and as well as the palladium scavenging labels coated with silfibroin, which is coated for 15 minutes or with silfibroin coated for 30 minutes, as well as we evaluated the oxygen scavenging rates of the palladium scavenging labels with collagen. And if you do not have any, any foot contact layer, you can see that the oxygen scavenging labels they showed an oxygen scavenging rate about 63 milliliter of oxygen per minute and when we cover them with foot contact layer using the electrospin nanofibers we see that the oxygen scavenging rate decreased and in case of the silk fibroin we see that if we if we coat them for longer time then the this decrease were more uh, than the if we coated and uh, with silk fibroin for only 15 minutes. When we coated the palladium scavengers with collagen, the oxygen scavenging rate decreased as well, but is not strong as the silk fibroin systems. So, however, in all cases, basically, uh, we could remove the oxygen um, in a headspace of a typical package within one to two hours, even with the uh, samples that are coated with the um, electrospin nanofibers. So as a conclusion, electrospinning can be used to coat the palladium surfaces with nanofibers and collagen at a lower effect on the oxygen scavenging rate compared to silk fibroin. However, to be able to evaluate the full potential of nanofibers for application of foot contact layers for palladium-based oxygen scavengers, the coating surface should be analyzed to be able to understand the, the structures of the surface, as well as, of course, the migration test should be done whether to, to be able to see whether the foot contact layers prevent the migration, any migration from the label into the foot. I would like to thank the, the cost action F1405, Active and Intelligent Packaging Innovation and Market Introduction for the support of this short-term scientific mission. And I would like to especially thank the, the host members, Professor Dr. Shevnan Tauman, Dr. Sehel Kumjoğlu, Professor Dr. Oz Bayraktar, as well as the, the graduate team, Ebru Ormandı, Özge Ata, Buket Amca, Zeynep Atak, Yasemin Yahşi and Merve Deniz Köse for their great support.